What's going on, y'all, man? We back at it again. It's your boy Bezo with Wheels. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hey, look, real quick, man. Let's get to it. This is the 2006 Mustang color change. We're going red to black. Let's get it. When this bad boy came in, it was all red. The clear coat was chipping, and it was key marks all the way around it. First thing I did was, so far, I did 320. I went over the whole thing with 320. I still got some areas to hit. Now, the reason I went with 320... Is because I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I went with 320 strictly because that's like an in between. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. Right here, I'm not. I'm gonna be real. I'm not taking 320 to this sticker. This is a sticker, and it's having a hard time coming off. So you need to go down with your grip, which is probably like I think I'm gonna take 120. I, I heard old heads say I'm not taking shit to my car anything less than 320. I've heard that, and then I've heard people say no, that's bullshit. That's ridiculous. You're gonna be here all night trying to send these stickers off. I feel like it's a to each his own type thing. Um, I've called body techs. I've YouTubed. I've Googled. I've talked to my friends. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has different answers. You got to just figure it out and do it your own way. But it has to come out with quality. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm going to take some 120 to that. That's the only thing I've done so far was just 320. But if the car would have came in with no issues, just ready to paint, I probably would have scuffed it with 800 and then scotch brighted it, then painted it. Um... I've done that before and it came out great. Now, other people are probably going to be like, what the hell? Why would you do that? Like, I'm trying to find my comfort zone. I'm trying to find which way works best for me. I don't have 120, but I got 180. We're going to, we're going to, you know, what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you all right quick. So we got, we got 320. I did the whole car with 320. <laughs> Because you're going to have to work your way up all the way to whatever you're going to end the car with. So, you don't want to start off with 36 and have to go 36, 180, or 120, 180, to 320, to 400, to 600, to all the way to 800. Because you started way at 36 grit. So, um, I try to start at 300, 320 and go, and go up from there. Look at this right here. Man, I tried this all day yesterday, and it would not come off. But damn, we just saved like a good 30 minutes. Let's get it. Car going black, so it don't make sense to have this sticker. Is why he wants it off. It was like, no matter how he parked or which way he turned, the sun stayed on the left side of his car. Like, bruh, look at the difference. Look at the difference. My damn back hurt. My knees is popping. Stickers off. Now we about to buzz over the whole thing with 320. We're going to hit all the missed areas. We're going to try and get close up on the windshield. This is actually the first car that I have sanded without masking up. I only did that because I want to see how it goes. Because when I mask it all up, sand it, I'm nicking. I'm nicking the sandpaper. The sandpaper is nicking the edges and I got to retape and then there's dust all in there. So when I spray, somehow, even after I blow all the cracks and blow the whole car out and blow it all again and wipe and tack rack and rack, dust still lands in it or dust somehow from, I don't know, it just gets in there. All right, so um, I pretty much went over the whole thing, got it all done with the bottom part with 320. I went with 320, like I said, because the, the clear coat is chipping. Other than that, I would have went with like six to 800. Um, this is a prime example right here. See how the paint chipping? So we got a <coughs> feather edge that. Like that. And crack right there. And 
And then we're gonna take it all the way up to about 800. And just go up, probably go up with 320, like four or something. I don't know, four or whatever's next. Look, ooh, I didn't see that, look. <laughs> and then boom, just like that, got a crew. Now nah, I'm just messing with y'all. Uh, got my brother Red, great barber. He actually cut my hair for a while now. Uh, what's happening? You got something to say to the camera, big dog? Go ahead. Man, this big bro right here though. Uh, then we got my other brother, O'Shea, right here. Actually, he uh graduated with me in 2015. Uh, different schools, but same Votech. Uh, he knows a lot about auto body and collision. Those are the two cars he got. He got the Cadillac back there, and then the Box Caprice right here. Got a lot of big stuff. Uh, hey man, where's the sneak peek at? Where's it at, bro? Where's it at, dog? Uh, it's in the. Uh, <laughs> Let's show y'all how we coming, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh we got? What we got? Got the carpet came in for it. Just a sneak peek. Damn. Mm, there we go. That's all we need, man. <laughs> Man, we got a lot, uh, a lot of big stuff going on, man. Like I said, um, I don't think I talked about it in the last video, but they've been actually working with me for the past, what, two or three weeks now. We done knocked out so many projects and everything seemed to be going smooth. So we chat, uh, chatted it up and talked about it as far as uh, starting a crew because I've been needing one. Like I said, you cannot run a restaurant by yourself. You just can't. So I hit them up and said, man, let's make, let's make something happen. What can we do? I pretty much gave them the rundown showed them the schedule like this is how much i made with you with you ben we can make some stuff happen so man y'all gonna see us three from now on uh we plan on uh, that's what uh, as a matter of fact when the when we painted the shop that's what i was talking about i was like man look we we i don't know if y'all didn't notice but i kept saying we and that's that's we right here so that's the crew uh color connection customs trying to handle some legal work uh trying to get the llc's and i i n numbers and whatnot and uh Make some stuff happen, man. Like I said, we're trying to we're trying to take over the city, man. This is it. Uh, you got to start somewhere. You got to start from the bottom. Um, you got to start solo, I guess, and then work your way up to the top to a crew. So, uh, like I said, man, this is gonna be us. Uh, we made some investments. Got a toolbox. Uh, got a few tools. Uh, let me see. Got the radio. Got the speakers going. So yeah, uh, making a lot of stuff happen. So. Like I said, color coordination customs. We got the Instagram. I'll drop the link in the description. Uh, other than that, got big bro. Ooh, yeah, y'all see it. Yes, sir. <laughs> big Rim Racing. Yeah. We're coming for him. Yes, sir. Big Rim Racing. Racing. We're coming for him. That's the caddy, man. So, yeah, these are both of his toys. And uh, what you said, what this is right here, the 2012 motor right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't say too much. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Heck yeah, and Big Bro just as a matter of fact got the link and we're gonna have to pull that back around here because as a matter of fact right now it's white. Are we there yet? Yeah. <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> right now, um we tack ragging and wiping. Yeah, we're doing it outside because we want to keep the dust in here very limited. Uh we're just gonna pull it in. We did finish it with eight, I think it was eight hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, one of those. Well, we in the process of masking off the glass and the door panel um how we doing it uh it just kind of depends like you know when you got you got prices you can spend seven thousand dollars for a paint job or you can spend 800 you can spend 600 some people doing it for four mako's mako's doing it i think for four for 400 so um but as of right now if this customer was like okay i want you to take a little step forward we're pretty much we're going to do packages basically so you come in and say you just want a quick paint job you don't it ain't got to be perfect blah 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 this is my work trucker okay cool we gonna do we just gonna mask it up just like just like we doing boom cover this up we're not taking anything off we'll we'll ask a matter of fact take these off because this is just gonna flex and you'll see it um pretty much straightforward just mask it all up now you got a guy that say i want i want i want my car to be a1 like take it all apart because they, they obviously they have the knowledge of knowing okay what painters are doing so this guy say he wants to, okay i want my car like showroom ready i need it a1 i need the best paint job you can perform okay now we're taking this whole we're, damn near take the door off panels off these out everything take the whole car apart only thing we possibly can't do is pretty much take out the glass but other than that it's just straightforward it's just masking it all up uh the very next step is uh really masking is everything you're gonna make your day two days longer if you're not critical on your mask. And that's the most important part. Prep is the most important part.
Because if you demask and you miss an area, guess what you got to hit? So, oh, Tom, I just emptied the tanks. You're not supposed to have that much water in your tanks. I had it in both tanks. Um, I do have a uh, moisture catcher or whatever. I got to hook that back up. Um, I got lazy and didn't do that the last few times um, on like smaller projects. So, yeah, make sure your tanks is empty. And uh, I'll eventually get it hung up, hung back up. I did some moving around when the garage fell. So, yeah, man, this is all masked up. We are ready to shoot, man. We're about to go ahead and spray this bad boy. Let's get it popping. All right, man, so we're going to knock out the jams first. Uh, I still haven't really um, determined whether or not I was going to actually start doing the jams first or the car first. It's just kind of... I gotta mess around and I know some people do it different, but I gotta find my comfort zone with that. So I think I'm gonna do the gym first and then shoot the whole car. But man, uh, I should be able to get it with two coats, so let's try it. it on there so we don't run it some some professionals i guess they do one thick ass coat but i'm not up there like that i just want to do a couple tack coats maybe two tack coats or whatever and then hit it hard the last one hey man we got the door jams painted uh i did about three coats that should do it. Um, I didn't see no any dry spots or anything like that. So this went fairly smooth. Uh, getting ready to go ahead and um, hit the actual paint. Do the actual, and hit the actual car. Um, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Let's get it, let's get it. 